Ava. Hey, Arabelle. I have a story to tell you. My story is about a caterpillar. Now this caterpillar somehow found herself on a carpet. And as she crawled across the carpet, she couldn't figure out what it was all about. She kept crawling and crawling. And as she crawled, this is what she saw. She would crawl across one thread and she would see a purple thread. And then she would crawl some more. She would crawl across some pink threads. Still made no sense to her, but she kept crawling. And she would crawl and crawl. She would crawl across white threads. She would crawl and crawl some more, and sometimes they would be green. Sometimes they would be blue. And she couldn't make what she was crawling across. It didn't make any sense to her. So then the time comes. This comes with all caterpillars. Here's our friend the caterpillar again. When she built a cocoon. And she crawled into that cocoon and made that cocoon her home for a while. She was in the cocoon. She was all bundled up and hanging from a branch and she stayed in the cocoon for a long time. Can you imagine being in a cocoon where you can't see out and yet you're all cozy and warm? Well, the sun shined on the cocoon and the rain fell on the cocoon and time went by and soon that caterpillar knew it was time to leave that cocoon. So she pushed. And she pushed. But even as she pushed, she felt different. She felt different. Everything felt different. But she kept pushing and pushing. Will you help me push? And she pushed. And look what came out of the cocoon. Beautiful butterfly. While the caterpillar was in the cocoon, she had turned into a butterfly. And she was now sitting on the branch, which earlier she'd been hanging from it's a, a, in a cocoon. She looked out. She could see the sunshine. She could see the green hills and the road. She sat on her branch. She thought about being a caterpillar, being in the cocoon. She had to wiggle her wings a little bit because they were still wet from being in the cocoon. And they needed to dry. So she sat on the branch with the sun shining on her and let her wings dry. All the while wondering what was it that she had spent so much time crawling over when she was a caterpillar? Well, the time came very soon where her wings were dry. And she flew off the branch into the blue sky, over the hills, over the valleys, and she flew and flew. And she thought, I'm going to fly back and peek in the window of that floor where I had crawled when I was a caterpillar. 
and see what those beautiful colors, the threads of white and pinks and purple and even lavender. All these threads she'd crawled across when she was a caterpillar. What was that all about? So the butterfly flew and flew and peeked in the window. She could see the beautiful carpet that she'd crawled across. And when she looked at it, she could see that there was a pattern to it. That every thread had a purpose. And there was a border and a middle. And this carpet was very beautiful. But she'd spent so much time crawling across. And this butterfly started thinking about her life as a cocoon as a caterpillar, and then as a butterfly, and she understood that everything has a purpose, just like every thread on that carpet, all those beautiful threads, each one had a purpose to form the pattern of the carpet. And the carpet is like your life. Sometimes every day we don't understand what it's all about. And yet there is a pattern and a purpose for our lives, Arabelle and Ava, and Mommy's and Daddy's, and Nanny Jimmy. So I thank you for listening to my story. And my butterfly wants to say goodbye. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Love you.